Uh, welcome to the first Get Jervis live stream, uh, fondly titled Fiddling with a Synthesizer, uh, I think. And um, yeah, it's it's a Synth Monday. What, what better time of the day to be doing this? Oh, I can hear myself somewhat... Right, let's turn that down. Distractions. So, um, all new technology for me here in the sticks. Um, in my ears, I can hear a little bit of fizz off the microphone channel. I hope you can't hear that, but but do let me know if you can. Todd, thank you. I'm glad you can hear me. Wagoo! Yes! Hello! And welcome. Uh, it's a it's a it's a very uh, sort of uh, sort of last minute kind of idea because um, I have been lucky enough to have had all three of the Sound Freak modules on loan since January, and uh, there's a little video coming out on the Sound Freak channel hopefully soon. And um, I've got really really intimate with these guys um to the point where actually um i helped uh sort of present these at Superbooth last week with alina who you know was marvelous in her sort of uh, use of the instruments so that's fantastic to to have been part of that so i figured that it's got to go back to italy tomorrow uh, <laughs> i'm kind of getting used to this tech but i want to do this more often i'm i'm thinking every fortnight you know once a month we'll do synth fiddling uh, and then we'll have guests also once a month. So every fortnight there'll be some sort of live stream. Um, hopefully building the subscribers so I can actually do more work on this channel. Anyway, um, that's the kind of the, the idea. Uh, and hopefully it's not going to be a, a long sort of stream, but I'll try and keep an eye on the uh, <laughs> on all of the chat coming in and respond to that as well. But obviously, as always with these things, please feel free to chat amongst yourselves. And if you're watching this after the fact, set yourself a timer for 8 p.m. on a Monday, and we're going to do this fairly regularly. So uh, I guess without further ado, let's look at what we've got here. So um, I'm playing the uh, Sand Freak 3 modules for you. So that's in the Buchler format, 1.2 volts uh, triggered from the uh, the Keystep Pro, which can actually supply exactly that. So we're not really worried too much about that. Um, I'm going to be using arpeggiator for most of it just to sort of um, keep some sort of sense of, of sound coming through. Uh, you'll probably have this view more often than not because, you know, it's the right view. Um, this is something that was given to me by Erico, who does all the art and the logos for uh, Alina. Synth, back and relax. So uh, I'll put a link in this afterwards, but uh, fantastic. Maybe you can scan that. <laughs> but look at that. Uh, Harrison Ford, fantastic. Right, okay. Um, that's the kind of thing. I've got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of banana cables there. And maybe not enough tiny jacks, but enough hopefully to make some sounds. And we're just gonna we're just gonna dive in and have a little fiddle uh, without too much explanation. I'm hoping you all are familiar with the wonderful EMS VCS3 and Synthy instruments. Um, hugely fond. Uh, this is going to be really hard to pack away tomorrow. Um, I have not really played any other synths since this been in my studio, so. You know, I've got some favourites here. I really have. Um, but this has really become a, a, a very favourite synth whilst it's been here. Look how beautiful it is. Look at that. It's just amazing. So um, what we'll do, I think, is we'll just, just start the arpeggiator running and we'll start having a listen to what it's capable of. Because I know some of you are very familiar with this instrument in its vintage form and you know some of you already own <laughs> the um the modules in 4u format um but some of you have have not so let's let's just dive in have a little listen so i'll i've got it at the moment just the three oscillators the triple vco uh the sine wave plugged straight into the envelope shaper um and we'll just hopefully there we go so that's sine beautiful sign is that is that a good volume can you hear me and the sign okay Look at that. Okay, I'll wait. There's a little delay there, but that's fine. I'll get used to this. This is all new stuff. So, sine wave um, has, a, well, I think each oscillator has a shaper. Now, the shaper on oscillator two and three 
uh, you know, modulate, sort of changes the output module, oh, modulate shapes is that I suppose shapes the waveforms, both square and uh, triangle on two and three, but only sine on one. So let's have a little listen to that. So let's kick it up a bit. Oh. Instant Floyd, right? Now, as you can see from the diagram underneath it, it's kind of like a flying, <laughs> It sort of like puts a bit of a sharp edge on the downward sign there. And this puts a sharp edge on the upward. It's a very subtle difference, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And of course you can modulate that with a banana plug from maybe the VCO. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. So in the center, it's pure sign. So let's take out a triangle. <laughs> Just sublime. Instantly getting some really nice rhythmic stuff going on. So, uh, I'm going to pre patch going well it'd be rude not to get the filter in there so let's get that going oops oh hello hello Boot distortion there so <laughs> now I had an interesting conversation and of course the third oscillator you know LFO switch in there ready for all those kind of modulation duties so you know whilst we're modulating that we can easily modulate again going on the frequency and you've got this wonderful attenuator here and slew let's crank up that response and triple VCO so you can easily start this is where we get those wonderful Doctor Who kind of vibes from we start modulating everything with everything else <laughs> ABC Radiophonics Workshop this is the sound of my childhood Yes, we're getting these are for you formatted. That's Buchla. Again, I'll make sure that there's a link to the uh, the Sound Freak uh, website and in the description as well for afterwards. And the banana plug in there as well means that I can start um, taking the same uh, points up on square. So square, and I can do all sorts of things. I can use the same oscillator to modulate back to the sine wave. I had 
some boot -cla modules to, to integrate with this, because some of the stuff I played with at, at Super Boot, I played at this time, the time before. Oh, it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous for someone like me to get into the, that kind of world, but, you know, generally, it's all dangerous. Modulation of the of the filter, and again, this is all kind of. <laughs> okay, so again, that started life as a very simple. Um, very simple sign patch, uh, a couple of cables, and I'm in, you know, BBC Radiophonics workshop heaven, which again, you know, for me is is kind of like it's kind of one of the main reasons I'm into synthesizers. I guess it's all those television programs and the sound of the 70s on my TV set. Um, yeah, they do sound great, Wiggy, and yeah, maybe I should. Maybe dip my toe into the tip top stuff before ju jumping head on into the for you stuff, but I kind of want these, <laughs> so you know. Um, and I don't think uh, I've I could get the VCS three or Synthy. Actually, they're not making Synthy at the moment, but the VCS three, um, you know, as quick as these, which is again, you know, the the, the main reason. One of the main reasons why these are such a, 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 a sort of a, a sort of a wonderful proposition is that these are more or less readily available. Where you do have, you know, I mean, it's a prestigious instrument, isn't the VCS three? And yeah, I mean, I could put one any on any shelf in here, and I would be absolutely right in this space, um, as would this. So. Um, just sort of having a little fiddle with that. So what can we get? Let's unplug some of this sort of stuff we plugged in. I'm trying my best to be organized with my cabling because obviously it's two different types of cable here with Bootler stuff uh, for you. So you've got tiny jacks for the audio signal and control the signal goes into the banana plugs. Ins and outs, blues and blacks. Black is in, blue is out. Red is for the trigger from the keyboard. Um, and I'm not really doing much apart from CV and gate from the Keystep Pro. But um, let's see what the envelope shaper does because this does some really cool stuff. Um, attack on, decay off. So attack, is a, as you'd expect, is the time it takes to reach the peak. On is the amount of time the signal is on. Decay is the time it it's, goes to zero, and off is the amount of time before it repeats. So we don't even need, if I have set this up correctly, which I clearly haven't, because I can't hear anything. Um, I did this at the presentation as well, <laughs> but I hadn't plugged the cables, and I've definitely plugged the cables in now. Oh, I've turned the volume down. It's kind of the same thing as not plugging a cable in, isn't it, turning the volume down? Here's... Uh, it's a deliberate uh, kind of... Right. Um, playing this synthesizer in an auditorium with an incredible sound system, the place just shook. It was stunning to hear. Right, okay. That sounds really quiet. Let's have a look. Um, does that sound quiet to you as well? <laughs> Gaz Williams has joined the chat in the moment that I have... Right. Okay. Let's see why that's definitely up. That's definitely there. Okay, right, we are plugging the, oh, that again, because the nature of this being modular and being that you've got uh, a volume for each 
individual waveform, which means an attenuator, which means you can have it down as low like that, and it sounds quiet. But then I hope the sign isn't distorting. I'm not quite sure with my ears yet. So um, let's turn the arpeggiator off. Right, so. So there's your looping envelope. And then straight away and trapezoid control as well, which again can be mod modulated there. So, what are we gonna do with this little bad boy? So let's try the saw wave. <laughs> I'm stacking the banana plugs to sort of sync up those. You can also sync the oscillators, which we'll do as well with these guys. Um, let's get that plugged in. So let's jump into the filter. Uh, we've got a triangle saw, yeah? Ooh. It's just Doctor Who again, isn't it? I wonder... Is it since... Well, I'm not surprised. I've got the synth quite loud. Um, thanks, guys, though. I think I need to f invest in something to uh, duck my voice or duck the synth while I'm talking. So I need to all sort the audio out on this. Anyway, so that's just the two together. Again, if we take oh, s crickets, I mean, it is summer, right? We all like cricket, right? That's amazing. It's no wonder these things were used in uh, so many TV uh, shows. Right, okay, so output of uh, white noise generator. Nothing happening. Amazing. Why is that not happening? Okay, so let's, let's stack these together. Okay. Uh, I need to link another tiny jacks. Oh, I don't know what I've done that for. Okay, okay. So I'm, just, I'm now chaining both oscillators. <laughs> and there's the white noise. So white noise in the middle, darker to the left, like a, it's like a filter really, and higher to the right. It says low and high. It, it's a bit weird at first where, you know, you kind of see uh, the lettering and the sort of is above and below on some things. It's kind of, you get confused. So trapezoid is that one, not that one, but it, you know. Anyway, I think that's all in line with the original stuff. You're hearing the same balance as us. The vocals could be louder, could they? Um, okay, guys, thanks for that. This is good because this is my first, very first live stream. I'm I'm really hot on that. Let me have a little look at the. Uh... So the synth is nice and loud, yeah. Uh, where's my controls? Okay, so how's that? Is that better? Is that a bit better with the vocals? Well, well, well. Hello, David. Welcome to the first Get Jervis live stream. So how does that in balance? Is it too loud now? I can actually probably turn it down here if it is. Just feel like it's 
going to be every Monday thing. You might want to do an hour earlier as the hardware jams. Ah, oh, damn it. That's what, that's what Inky, what Lisa was talking about then, hardware jams. She, I didn't understand. So seven o'clock, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, thanks guys. I'm happy with that. So obviously three cameras, main camera, uh, random GoPro at a strange angle, which I don't really know is going to be much use, but it's kind of there so you can... Oh, have I got a dodgy cable? Did you hear that? Maybe. So another thing as well with this is that over the years, there have been many modifications of the VCS-3, obviously still uh, being performed. Uh, the, this DB switch on each of these filters is 18 or 24. So again, nice to have that in there. And also the slew as well, which uh, affects the incoming CV control. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I think I've got somewhere not that cable wasn't plugged in. It's my fault. Okay, um, let's. Is this view good? I mean, it's an interesting view, right? You can see perhaps it's less uh, clear as that one. I think I think we'll stick with that one. Okay, so what we're going to do now? So LFO isn't doing much. Let's get that doing some frequency modulation. Yeah, there it is, the old Morris Minor windscreen wiper sound, as used on uh, Miss Marple. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, I've been spending the most of this year sort of uh, rebuilding this tiny space and making it a lot more productive to make videos and obviously to live stream. So, um, yeah, thanks for, for noticing. Right, back to this. So, just remembering that that is just the envelope looping. And you've got 10 times. And there it is. Yeah, we've all heard that as children. Definitely. Right. Okay, so let's go back to, let's put that back up there to manual, and let's get back a nice arpeggio. That's machine gun arpeggio. I'm not quite sure what's doing what there, but let's try. Uh, I did say a little while ago that I was gonna sync the oscillators, didn't I? So let's, there you go. So let's get that synced immediately because that's what I'm used to, but I have spent, it's, this is, this is the, I think this is the, the beauty of synthesizers, isn't it? Is that, you know, I've spent so long with this and each time I've played it, I've come up with some really wacky sounds. As soon as I start doing a live stream for you guys, it almost sounds fairly vanilla. <laughs> I mean, fairly, still not 100%. Anyway, let's crack on. Um, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Down to my last tiny jack. Uh, what am I gonna do with that? Uh, I still feel like we're not properly kind of exploring the weirdness of this machine. Uh, Tiny jacks down, banana plugs. All right, let's get that same low frequency oscillator going into the second filter. There it is. As heard 
on every Jean-Michel Jarre album. Now I did try putting uh, an effects pedal in the loop so I could get some reverb and it's just introduced a lot of noise so I need to figure that out for the next one. You heard how much difference that slew made. It's so noticeable. And just to reiterate, I haven't played any other synth pretty much all year. White noise doesn't seem to want to play much. I don't know what's going on with that, because that should just be making noise, right? It's a white noise generator. That's what it does, noise generator. But it's not making any noise. I wonder if it's the cable. Let's try a different cable. Yes. Uh, interesting. OK. Who knows? That's maybe something I'm doing wrong there. It was working a minute ago, wasn't it? OK, right. So. Um, yeah, just a phenomenal synthesizer that is going to leave just a massive gap in my life. <laughs> yeah, hugely massive gap in my life. I don't know, I, you can't fill these kind of gaps unless you've got this kind of instrument. And I guess it's like anything else. I mean, we, we all kind of look at, at, at synths and we all get excited by certain things. And then I think ultimately, sometimes we're a bit let down by, you know, the, the excitement to get a new thing is kind of, uh, is more than the actual reality of owning it. And I think, you know, I got very excited about the Pro 3, having a Pro 1, um, and I haven't played it much. Now that's, I didn't have enough space in the studio for starters, so that's probably not going to help. But, you know, the CS15 gets played all the time. It is one of my favourite synths of all time. Um, but, you know, I think you have to have, I guess you have to sort of really connect with an instrument. Um, hello, Simon. Um, and that's what this has done for me. It, it has touched me deeply. It's touched me in places that other synths only dream to touch. Is that right? It's not wrong, is it? Um, so, that's interesting. That should just, oh, there you go. It 
It's got a lovely square wave. Should we hear that? Um, actually, let's do that one. Let's go in there. Let's go in deep. Let's take out. Let's take out the saw. And of course, the shaper does both triangle and square. Let's go back to that view. I've got to remember to do that. Sorry if I forget. Oh, David, yeah. It's, it is it is It's an amazing instrument. I just need to spend time. And of course, my, I literally bought mine from Dave. <laughs> um, so, you know, I have to keep it. There's no way it's going anywhere. I just need to dedicate some time. Maybe we'll do one of these uh, fiddling about. Um, right, let's get that going. Pulse width modulation there. Right, of course, you've got a nice amount. You can... It is such a musical instrument. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> but it's so musical synthesizer. Yeah, I think you get what I'm saying. But also, you know, gnarly and raw sounding. It really is. Um, okay, so let's let's go back to doubling that up with the sign. Oop. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's let's see what we've got there. So that's two oscillators. Bit of pulse width modulation. It's a very again, it's fairly vanilla. Right. Output. Surely that's an output. Maybe that's the response. Audio input. Oops. I guess we just do this, don't we? We just chain them that way. Um, and then we've got. Just the way it breaks up. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go for... Let's just keep on with the modulating stuff. Is that actually doing anything? Is it noticeable? Yeah, 
Now we get into the place that I was at when I, every time I picked this up, I would make a sound that started kind of roughly vanilla, but ended up with a sort of really interesting kind of almost polyrhythmic. Yeah. Kettle's boiling. Yeah, get a kettle on. I'd love a cuppa. Actually, I've got some mint and... Um, mint and lemon drink, which is quite nice. Mm. Oh, it's tasty. Very tasty. Right. <laughs> I bet your dogs are going mad. Anyway, oh my god. What happens if we slow it down? The arpeggiator. Down to 30 BPM. It's like uh, loading an old computer game off a cassette, isn't it? It's kind of almost got those kind of frequencies in there. Nice. I want the white noise. I want some white noise in there. I really want this to work. Please, white noise, come to the party. You are invited. No, why it's not working? Did I perhaps not? No, it's... It's not happening, is it? It's not happening. I think that's my last two cables, and I'm not quite sure whether they're kind of like, um, you know, reliable enough. Uh, okay, let's get those dogs happy again. More tea, Vicar. <laughs> okay. Right, we gotta release this beast. It does sound like it's there it is. <laughs> yeah, I think you know, Blake Seven any other Quater Mass experiment. Dark. Yeah. Let's bring it back to some more chaos. Oh, oh! Of course, it's always going to do that because I'm messing around with chained filters. Dogs again. That sounds good. I mean, it went from plain to crazy to somewhere in between. I think I'm still at 30 BPM as well. I don't really think the BPM is um, at all re sort of reflecting kind of what the synth it itself is doing. I mean, that's really just cracking and cracking on with its own tune, isn't it? Oh, no, it's doing something. Let's take it to 130. Let's go, let's go techno. Yeah. I do 
I do apologise. For those of you who don't know, I am a progressive rock addict. Um, it's always going to be coming back to that kind of flavour. And in this case, Pink Floyd. That's prog with a lowercase p, just in case. Oh yeah, joystick. I mean, that's got to be the next module, right? It's got to be joystick. We're missing a ring modulator and a reverb, obviously. Jeez, it's just... Let's start unplugging stuff because there's so much plugged in here. It isn't actually doing anything. Unstack the mod the filter. Let's <laughs> modulate in there, this guy. Yeah. Hello, Roberts. To those dogs. Right. <laughs> oh, it's just ridiculous. Let's, let's stop modulating everything. Stop modulating. No, thank you. Back to two oscillators. One oscillator. Oh, that's not even. It's not even there. Oh, it is there. God, the sign is so good. And I'd like. I'd like a distortion on this. Actually, I'd like a, a really gnarly fuzz pedal, which I have, but none of it's ready to go. I need to get a bag of tricks, but you know. It's because I have to send this back tomorrow that we're doing this now. And this is my first live stream, so therefore I am only thinking of these things now whilst in process of this. Now, is there anything whilst we are here that you would like to hear this thing do that maybe I haven't already done or maybe I touched on but you saw me immediately take it somewhere else? Is there anything you would like me to do. Comments. Right. Just sounds deep. That's the kind of sound that... How many patch cables am I using there? Like, th th three. And listen to that. Now, if we turn it, it's not... That's, that's kind of sirens, but... Let's try and get it. Slower, okay. I'd love a delay in right now. Slow enough? Try 
clangy, isn't it? Glow furry. Yeah, there's David. There's tons of character in this thing. It's just, and again, that's why I haven't played anything else. I, I, I haven't needed to. This is absolutely sated every desire, every thirst, every hunger. Yeah. Let's get that pulse width modulating. Now, worthy of note is that if I start using the shape here, it'll also change the shape of the triangle, so it should be quite interesting. Although that's used to synchronize, but maybe we should... Um... white noise to work. Interesting, isn't it? Let's listen to that. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Good to welcome aboard. Yeah, it's soothing and freaky. It's exactly the sort of vibe that the synth gives you, I think, is it gives you that weirdness, but soothingly so. Definitely missing a delay. Possibly a reverb, and most likely a phaser. the loop. Decibel peroxide, isn't it? Wagoo, there's your space invaders. <laughs> What's going on with this? Rando temper changes. <laughs> oh, Robert, you've made it go to 240 <laughs> BPM. It's like, what was the... What was the music from the episode of Brass Eye? that they were always taking cake to, because I think I've just 
made it. That is... back land the spaceship and we'll take some questions before we end the live stream I think it just sounds like dripping water now I don't know where that's coming from got to stop because that will keep me going. So, I mean, polyrhythmic. Okay. Woo! There it is. The Sound Freak modular VCS3 modules, the triple VCO, the dual filter oscillator, and the envelope shaper, all in a mess of glorious noise. Um, I'm really happy, thank you, I'm really happy that we got to the places that I've journeyed to alone. I was worried at the beginning that it was sounding all very vanilla, and I thought, well, this is what I've always got to, is this crazy, bizarre, rhythmic, pulsing, gurgling, burbling, fizzing, farting. It's kind of like a collection of beautiful, sonic, rich landscape um, that is so difficult, I find, to do anywhere else. It's just, it just takes you on this crazy journey. It is an immense instrument that I have, for the first time in a long time, I think gas is too short, a too a small a word to describe. I have bonded with this instrument quite deeply. Anyway, um, any questions whilst I still have this uh, before I have to start packing it away in bubble wrap and getting it ready for a collection tomorrow? Uh, yes, it is an immense synth, Gaz. Yeah, thank you. Yes, mental, definitely. Um, yeah, it does sound great. It, Somebody said earlier on, I think it was Wagoo, rich, uh, not even say rich, um, just characterful. And I think that's exactly right. It is the most characterful synth. Um, I've had the privilege to be this intimate with. Brilliant. How about a quick power cycle to see if that resurrects the noise? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, uh, so off. This has been warming up, by the way, for a long time, just because obviously it's pure analog, so. Um, it's still there. <laughs> it's still there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I've got 
to stop playing with this. Well, um, thank you all for joining. Um, comments below. Can you blur the background so I can focus focus on the synth next time? You have so many nice goodies in that room. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes, that's the idea, isn't it? I'm glad you enjoy my new and uh, improved sticks. Yeah, uh, lots of sound treatments in here as well. Um, so more from this room. But yes, I will work hard. It's difficult when you've got a GH5 because obviously the small sensor means that blurring in the background is not always as easy as you'd like. Anyway, um, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, fortnightly here from 7 o'clock. Uh, UK, 8 o'clock Central European time, and that makes it 2 p.m. on the east coast of America, if any of you are over the other side of the Atlantic. So, thank you very much. I will somehow figure out how to end this live stream. And, yeah, until next time, stay weird with your sense. <laughs>